Builders Brick Ratty app here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the three new custom printed sets by Citizen Brick that were designed with Brick Designed. Each of these are going to feature some really nice custom printed elements. I'm very excited to actually build these and just see how they fit together. For the most part, Citizen Brick really only has designed bigger sets, so it's kind of nice to see these smaller ones that are a little bit more affordable, and even some of them contain like some cool minifigure parts that like you can see in the hot tub. It's kind of cool to see that they're in three different packaging sizes, so it'd be kind of a hint, I guess, that they'll plan on doing more of these different builds in different sizes. So to start off, let's just go with the smallest one being the slot machine. Getting the slot machine out of the packaging, you can see that it has 40-ish pieces, with five of them being custom printed here, and two of those are duplicates, like a lot of their more recent custom sets. They have a QR code that gives you the instructions, a little print of the design of the set. Scanning the QR code just brings you to the digital instructions, has the parts list, and is a pretty straightforward build just due to the size. And on the back, a little description, some write-ups about the company, and again, just the image of the set. So I'm excited to build this, and let's get it together. The final build does have a little bit of bulk, I would say width-wise. Overall, though, the design is pretty well done and is very fitting for what it's supposed to be. It does scale pretty well with the minifigure. Let's like, say the little coin that's printed is a nice little part to get. I think people are going to love to get those. Really, the only feature is you can kind of move the handle up and down. It's a little flimsy since it is on like a Lego wrench, but it's really great. You get the jackpot print there. And overall, those symbols are pretty good. You can have a little bit of customization since the dollar signs are basically symmetrical. You could have it with the blue side down or up, it doesn't really matter. The instructions probably could be improved a little bit. I think the way that they assembled the side panels, which just kind of pop off and are connected with some snot bricks, could have been designed a little bit better and a little less confusing. I just looked ahead in the steps to make sure I knew where the prints were, and I just feel like those were a little bit backwards. Other than that, you know, small set, it is what it should be. So that's fun to get. Let's move on to the next one. For the next set up is the medium sized offering here being the ski ball machine. Lots of color here with the yellow and red. Same style of packaging with the same basic layout. The instructions, again, a QR code. Let's get these parts laid out. And you can see all 69 parts with five printed ones by Citizen Brick. Like I said, you know, a little bit more color here with the yellow and reds. And honestly, it's kind of surprising how close the piece counts are for the slot machine in this one. I guess this one just has some more bulkier parts. After building this one, I definitely think it's possible for it to be my favorite out of the three. The prints are great. Overall, the design of this was actually pretty fun too. It uses some interesting techniques. I'll say the instructions for this one were a bit off like the slot machine was where I don't 100% agree with some of the parts that were being asked to be put together in the first couple of steps. I don't really like when you put two parts next to each other loose and not have them connected in any way. So for the most part, I would skip ahead a couple steps, see what the bigger part on the outside would be and kind of lay down the plates after that. It's also a little confusing for some of the printed parts. When you're building something, it doesn't really orientate you for what way the print should be facing. So you kind of have to skip ahead and see how a certain part you're building would orientate on the build. For the slot machine, like I pointed out, the side panels, same here with the printed parts being on both sides. So something to keep in mind there. Not a super turnoff though. And another weird thing I noticed on the ski ball design on the side, the balls are blue, and then they use tan balls here. So I feel like the studs used to represent the balls probably should have been a blue of some sort just to match that. But, you know, when you play skee-ball, they are kind of an off-white, so it's not like it's inaccurate, but it seems inconsistent with the design they're going for. I do really like the ticket print that they added here. And again, I love this design. The colors are great, and all the prints are great. Definitely going to have to figure out a way to make an arcade or fit this into one of my future builds, because it's very fun, and I would definitely recommend this one for anybody looking for a custom LEGO set. Before the last set and the biggest one, it is their hot tub here. It's going to have the most amount of printed parts and comes in the biggest packaging. Also some figure parts there. And again, you know, the card is designed pretty much the same way as the other ones. It is just a bigger size plastic shell. Here's all the hot tub parts that put out. 
you know, it has 29 printed parts with all these printed tiles. There's a couple different wood grain designs, the thermometer, some of those Technic connectors or whatever you would call them with some wood grain as well, and two different printed minifigure parts. It's probably one of the more bland builds, you know, you just get gray and brown for the most part, all these light blue studs. I do think a quality of life thing, it would have been nice to have gotten these in a separate bag just to keep them all together and not just loose. But let's go ahead and put this together. And here's the hot tub completed. I left it empty for now just so you can kind of see the inside. Just a empty wall. Definitely say that this build was probably the least exciting out of all of them. The prints are nice though if you want to get some wood textured tiles. I'm sure people are going to appreciate those. But for the most part it's just stacking a couple of those snot bricks and some tiles and plates. That's really about it. I guess these corners of the hot tubs are pretty interesting using that Technic piece and Technic pins at the top to attach the stud and the corner tile there. But other than that, pretty straightforward, like I said. And to fill it, you get 50 transparent light blue studs. It honestly fills out pretty well. You could probably get buy a couple more to get it even more filled, but I think that's pretty reasonable. And then you can just put the torso on the top there. Pretty nice effect. You know, it was a pretty shallow build, so it's not like the minifigure is really going to be drowning in there. But you know what? Works. It is kind of goofy to get half a figure, though, no legs. So that is an interesting choice. I can see why they would do it, but it doesn't make 100% sense to me. Also, it's kind of funny on the figure. Blue sunglasses on the packaging. Red sunglasses, so I wonder where the disconnect there was, if they changed the design or what. Because also the figure parts here were at Brickworld. I ended up picking up a flesh torso and head, and then also a tan version of it as well. So that's kind of interesting to see that they were selling the parts for the figure even before the set was even announced. So yeah, I wonder how that happened, why they chose to do that, but Let's go ahead and put all the sets next to each other and kind of show them off all together. And with all the sets together, what an interesting assortment of builds. You know, they're all kind of real life objects, but don't necessarily 100% fit together. I think the slot machine and the ski ball machine are kind of in the same ballpark, but the hot tub is a little bit out there. I do think this one could appeal more to just whatever audience. And these two here might be more for mockers or maybe more obscure interests. It is kind of nice that this one did come with a minifigure, has it stand out a little bit more. I think it would have been kind of fun to have all of them include a minifigure part of some sort, whether it was like a, just a head, you know, people wear weird sunglasses at the casino or a torso of the arcade name or something for the skee ball machine. That way you could get all of them, build your own minifigure, something like that. But what I've been seeing for the printed parts, all great quality, all very fun. Like the slots there where it has all the different symbols, like I pointed out, that's great. And I really think people are going to like these wood texture pieces. Hopefully they show up again somewhere else. But I'm pretty happy with these. I think it's great that Citizen Brick is spreading out their wings a bit and getting more affordable custom sets out there that aren't super expensive. While it's not out of question, they did make the Biblically Accurate Angel set as well, which was very small, only included like 20 pieces, I think, less than that. So I think it's also cool just to see them collaborate with somebody else in the Lego community since they didn't design these themselves. And I'd be interested to see if they would do that again in the future with other builders. I think there's a lot of room for opportunity to create some cool products like these that could go out to just general Lego fans and not just custom Lego collectors. But let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. I am leaning towards the ski ball sort of game there. Probably the slot machine after that. And then last is the hot tub. I think figure's kind of cool to get. Those are some fun parts, but overall the build's not super impressive. And really it's just the printed parts pack there. But if you want to see more Citizen Brick videos or custom Lego builds, check out all the other videos on my channel. I've been Brick Radiop, and I'll see you in the next video.